This is Holy Cross Cemetery in Colma, California. Located close to San Francisco. Interesting fact about the city of Colma, there's a lot of land dedicated to the dead here. The actual living population is only about 1,500. Last checked, the population of the dead in the city of Colma was 1.5 million. That's a lot. That's one heck of a ratio, living to dead ratio. And from what I understand, in the not so distant future, they may run out of room here in Colma for the dead. I will probably put a link for more of the history of the city of Colma in the description box below of this video. But let's um, go around and explore a few things in here. It's very interesting. All the way down at the end there, that peach big colored building you can see all the way down, that is the big mausoleum here at uh, Holy Cross. There's going to be a vlog to follow inside that massive epic structure. There are some notables buried here, among of which Joe DiMaggio, famous baseball player. I've done a vlog here for that in the past. And also Abigail Folger, she was part of the Manson family murder spree. And there's some history buried in this cemetery. And there's the man himself, Joe DiMaggio, Hall of Fame baseball player. People have left in the past baseballs, baseball bats. There was a baseball bat here. I don't know what happened to it. There's a hat there, but it was up on the ledge last time I was here. And there's a bunch of baseballs on the ledge. And I don't know, there's a Yogi Berra DVD someone left right here. I don't know what that's about, but. On the back of Joe DiMaggio's grave, of course, there's some vents for air to circulate through. This is a fairly interesting cemetery also. A lot of interesting things here. Interesting monuments. Okay. Nice stained glass work. Looks like somebody broke the glass a little bit, unfortunately. This one right here is interesting. Looks like the glass is a little fogged over on the inside of it. But, I don't know if you can really see inside. But, there you go. A little bit better of a view. Wow, this one's interesting. <laughs> this one's crazy. I like this one. Looks like the door has been broken down or something. chain shut with the paddle lock. Look at the lock's been broken on this thing. As you can see. Kind of like the cemetery in Oakland that I've done vlogs from before. You can tell this place has got some people with some money buried in them. Because these things are not cheap. This is pretty huge too. I might I might need a lot more hours in here to see everything. Oh hell. I guess the door opens in this one. Now this one's interesting. Like the glass is able to open, I guess. It's locked, but it doesn't look like anybody's been in here for a minute. It looks like a lot of leaves and dirt inside here. An interesting uh, mausoleum crypt type deals up in here. Damn, look at that one.
very peaceful out here let me tell you work geez this one looks like an old castle or a church wow probably kind of hard to see inside but doesn't look like anything anybody's been here in a minute this person died 1888 row here another pass that interesting row more zoomed in holy moly look at this one the name's Giblin god some of these are just so epic this is like wow this is insane looks fairly clean inside so I think the family might still visit Maybe not just dirt in the floor and stuff. There might be a few parts to this cemetery. I might have to come back in the future and do more because this place is bigger than I realized it was. I'm probably going to have a few parts on this filming, but I may have to come back in the future and film some more. Now this one is hidden. Interesting. There's a, a planter right in the middle of this thing. Wow, this one is old and interesting. That one's interesting, but unfortunately over here, looks like this one was part of some kind of vandalism, which is unfortunate. Looks like they broke some of the stained glass out. Maybe they put some temporary glass in there too, I don't know. That's interesting. That's a nice one. Some nice stained glass work. Doesn't look like there's anybody in here yet. There's no markings on any of these yet. <laughs> it's reserved. Maybe it's a family got it, never used it. I don't know. That's odd. There's usually at least one person in these things or two, but there's nobody in this. Or maybe there are people in here. They just never got around to marking them, but there's, there's vases in here and whatnot. It's just very odd. Look at this old school one right here. They got the gate across, but then they also got a piece of glass, like a glass door on the inside too. So they, it's like two different doors. Crazy. As you can see here at Holy Cross Cemetery, it is very roomy. These roads, this is a whole road. It's like a regular, it's like a city street almost. Might be even bigger than a city street to drive up and down. A lot of cemeteries, the roads are kind of narrow and skinny and small, but this one is massive. Easy to drive around in here with other people. Row, rows of American flags out here in front of everything. another old cemetery 1800s you know it goes back pretty far interesting construction here I don't think the families I don't know whose responsibility is to keep these bushes trimmed back if, if it's the cemetery or the family or what but a lot of these old mausoleum types are overgrown with with the trees and the bushes I started walking pretty far away from my car I'm gonna go back and get it and move it closer didn't realize my car was so far back. I don't want to leave it unattended too long. Damn, this is beautiful. This place is just massive, epic, awesome. 
before I get back to the car, actually, I'm going to just look at these really old graves really quick. Wow. You know, back 1800s, they, they really knew how to build these things, that's for sure. You know? Very, what do you call it? Regal, <laughs> I guess you can call it. Interesting, it's got a big slab over it right here, but it looks like it's too long for it. That's very interesting. 